Hey guys, it's C2 here. This is going to be part two of my abstract poster tutorial type thing that I'm doing. Um, in part one, we set up the lighting, the render settings, basically the whole Lightroom. Now, for this time, we're going to be setting up some of the objects that are in the Lightroom and getting a basic feel for how we're going to do that. Now, the first thing we're going to want to start off with is a platonic. Um, next, we're going to want to create a null object, drag the platonic under it, then go to here and create a displacer and we're going to drag the displacer in there now it's not going to do anything right away but you have to go to shading uh, we have to change the shader to noise and um, what you want to do here is bump up the height and really you're going to want to keep it at uh, intensity centered for this uh, what you can do here is just put it at like 800 and then in the shading, we can come back here to the noise, and we can change some of the noises to see which ones we like the most. So I'm just going to kind of run through some of these until we get, like, the best-looking thing, in my opinion. Um, a lot of this is just kind of screwing around. Also, what we can do, like, this one doesn't look too bad, so if we go to the platonic and maybe change around the type. Might, there, that looks good right there. That looks perfect. That's exactly what we need. And then we're just going to bring the height down a little bit. So it's all in there. All right, that looks cool. I like that. So that's going to be the basis. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. And the one thing that I forgot to do in the tutorial before is the camera. So we're always in the same spot. Just create a camera in this perspective so then you never have to move it. And you can always click the little box here and come back to where your camera is. So that way you're always rendering the same spot, dead smack in the dead center of the screen, and it looks good. Um, so now that we got our platonic kind of displacing thing going on in the middle, uh, the next step for that is to drag it down here, duplicate it, go here, oops, I'm sorry, go here, create an atom array, and then drag it under the atom array. And then um, what we can do is we can change the displacer, so... We say we want to do this. That looks pretty cool. And we're going to go to the atom array. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this all down a little bit. I'm probably going to cut about half the size. So 1 and then 2.5. So that looks good to me. I think that looks pretty cool. That way we don't have anything cutting in anywhere. Um, it's a little bit different than the first one I showed, but it's just something that I picked out that I like better. So just kind of subtle changes from this to the first one. So now that we have that all set up, uh, the next thing that we're going to want to do is also create an outline around our actual um, like platonic thing and we're just going to do that by creating another atom array dragging it under it and this time we're not going to change anything in the displacer we're just going to have the atom array and 0.5 and 0.5 so then now we have an outline so now since I'm only at three minutes I guess we can start on some of the uh, materials the first thing we're going to want to do is create a background material because if I would render it out right now, you'll see there's absolutely no color to this. So if it would actually render, that'd be nice. Thank you. Uh, you'll see there's no color, but the shadows are great because of the lighting that we put in here. It's going to look really, really nice, um, especially with the 300 DPI that we set up. So that's just going to be more pixels in the area that we're working in. So you guys can see the shadows right here. It looks really, really nice. That's kind of cool just how it is right there. Um, if you're not too picky on your background, I just go with that. I mean, that looks that looks great. But what we're going to do is we're going to create some materials and kind of beef it up a little bit. So the first thing I want to work with, <sighs> excuse me, is the background. Um, I want to kind of have a fade on the edges. So we're going to go to color texture and gradient click the gradient we're going to change it to a not a radial we want it circular and basically we're just going to invert these so bring the white to the oops to the far left looks like i gotta create a new one all right there so now we have white on the inside and black on the outside and we're going to change the black to sort of a light gray so there's just kind of like a little vignette if you want to call it that so now there's a little vignette on the background so now let me render it out you'll see if it would render any faster um, 
Actually, if this was on my old computer, it'd probably be taking three or four times the times of this, so I don't mind that much. Especially with all the shading and the 300 DPI, it really affects the render time. So if you find that you're having a hard time doing preview renders, bump down the DPI, any different things that you have, and you'll see a big difference. Alright, so now you see that we have this kind of soft vignette. It's not much of one, but it's just kind of noticeable if you look for it. It also brings better focus to the object in the middle, which is what we're really trying to bring. So that focus really helps us. Now, the next thing we want to do is basically we're going to duplicate that. We're going to make this black. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm yawning so much. We're going to take off the texture. We're going to go to reflection. Bring the brightness down to 5. Go to texture. Create a Fresnel. And then we're going to bring that down to 10. And then we're going to drag that on there. Okay. Now we're gonna just going to duplicate that. And we're going to go to the color. And I kind of want to make mine CN. Okay, you know what? We're going to do a gradient. Gradient. Going to change this to CN. Going to be sort of a darker one. And then we're going to come down here. And we're going to have it all the way bright. So it's just sort of like a gradual kind of fade. And we're going to do um, circular again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag that on to our atom array. So now we're going to render it. And then this should look pretty cool. Um, this is kind of just basic materials. The next tutorial I'll be going more in depth with the materials and what you can do with them. And uh, I'll kind of show you guys the effect that I had on the one that I started with with kind of the different um, patterns in there. That's without importing an image. So you can always import an image onto these. I just choose to do it inside of well, Cinema 40. I think you get better quality and there's not all the different like tearing and everything in it. So this would render. I'll leave you guys with this. And uh, part three is gonna be kind of fina final touches, more materials and just kind of getting it all to look right. So yes and now you can see with the black um where the light really hits it it's really quite gray i don't care for that much so the next tutorial i'm going to be changing that up uh that's not too bad for right now but it could be better so i'll record part three in a few minutes and i'll see you guys soon peace